private eyes, licensed to spy. And I thought, oh yeah, spying, hiding in the bushes, all camouflaged up. That sounds cool, I can do that. Private investigators spend their lives unlocking secrets, solving mysteries, and cracking cases of cheaters, catfishers, and con men. Here is a, let's call him a mass murderer, sitting in my office. A 21-year-old looking like butter wouldn't melt in his mouth. If you've ever wondered what it's like to be Sherlock Holmes, Miss Marple, or Magnum P.I., you're about to find out. It's fun, it's exciting, it's scary, it's satisfying when you get someone that thinks they're smarter than what you are and you've outsmarted them. That's when I really love it. Satisfy your inner detective and listen to I Spy, a podcast giving a rare glimpse into the mysterious, sometimes dangerous, and often crazy world of private investigators. Hair-raising, true crime stories. I was ruffling feathers. I was getting death threats. And I was getting messages akin to, we know who you are and we're coming to get you. Unfaithful secrets exposed. But women tend to hide their tracks a bit better and uh, successfully. Men try, but the women are probably more successful in hiding their tracks. And results that can make a difference. Would have had to have been a real commando style uh, entry and commando style raid to get those children out. Just like the movies, their tools of the trade include long lenses, spy cameras, and night vision goggles. It is fun to hear the client's reaction when we turn up and they say, wow, this is just like a scene from James Bond or Jason Bourne or something. But private eyes can spend a lot of time on stakeouts and they don't always go to plan. He saw my agent and probably recognised him from time before. He actually got up and started giving chase. And my agent rings me, panting. And he says, he's caught me, he's caught me, he's chasing after me, he's chasing after me. And he said, what do I do? I said, run. 